The Minnesota Vikings just cut one of the best running backs of all time. What's going on NFL fans? I'm your host Hussein the Brain and you're watching the couch. These are the seven teams that Adrian Peterson just might go to. The Vikings declined the $18 million 2017 option on Adrian Peterson's contract. Adrian Peterson, or as some call him AD all day, or AP is turning 32 years old. He's only played for the Minnesota Vikings, been there his whole career for 10 years. NFL free agency starts March 9th. And the big question is, what team will Adrian Peterson go to? Another big question we have is, although we know he, he says he wants to go to a Super Bowl ready team, a great team, I don't know exactly how much more he wants money or how much more does he want to go on a good team. My guess is a mixture of both. My guess is he's gonna go to a place that shows him respect, pays him a decent amount, but is all, but he's not gonna go to a whack team, all right? He's gonna go to a good team. Let's start with the least likely and end up with my number one team that I think Adrian Peterson will go to. So let's start with number seven, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. One reason they wanna have him is they have some cap space. They have the money, they can afford him. Another reason is the Doug Martin situation and their running back situation. At this point right now, I'd say they don't really have a running back. I have no idea what's going on with Doug Martin. Uh, we didn't really know what was going on with them in 2016 season. So big question mark there. But the reason why I have the Buccaneers at number seven is I don't think they're really a good team. I don't see this happening. So number seven, let's move on. The most sexiest team and number six on my list would be the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones said he wants him to back up Ezekiel Elliott. Now to me that just seems unlikely. It's not gonna happen. Also the Cowboys really need, their, their real true need is defense. They really need guys on defense. I think their offense is pretty good, especially with Dak and Zeke. I don't really think Zeke needs a backup, especially a big name like Adrian Peterson. Don't see this happening. Number six. Cowboys, let's move on. The number five most likely team to get Adrian Peterson, the Detroit Lions. They need a better defense. They also do need a running back though. So I really do see this working. If he does sign with the Lions, I would not be surprised at all. I see this as a good fit. One of the knocks I have on this though is I do believe they need to address the defensive issues. First, their defense isn't terrible, but it's not Super Bowl caliber or anything like that. Also, as far as running backs go, I see them liking a pass catching back a little bit more. Like I said, again, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think they want a back that can both run and catch the ball. Number four, the Seattle Seahawks. Trying to think like the front office of the Seahawks right now, I just see them being interested in Adrian Peterson because man, do they miss Marshawn Lynch. Their running backs now aren't too bad. Thomas Rawls, CJ Procise, but those guys have been hurt. I can't really gauge them. I can't really gauge how healthy they're gonna be. So there are question marks next to those names. Also, they did cut Kristen Michael. Will Kristen Michael make his way back to Seattle for a third time? Remember, he was there, he got cut. He's there, he got cut. So <laughs> would that happen another time? I don't know. I think they need to address the O-line. That's a bigger issue first before going after a running back, but that's really all they need. They need better blocking and a better running back. But like I said, if Thomas Rawls and Procise are close to 100% and they're gonna be healthy, that may be enough for the Seahawks. The number three most likely team to get AP is the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, the main reason they declined the option is because $18 million is a lot of money. So it's very likely that they'll restructure a deal, get them at a discounted price, and nowhere near $18 million, which is extremely expensive for Adrian Peterson, a running back who can't really catch the ball that well and is turning 32 years old. I still think he's gonna be a beast if he can stay healthy. But this is a very likely scenario. I had to put the Minnesota Vikings at top three. Adrian Peterson seems to like the organization, seems comfortable there, but he may not, like if I was him, I probably wouldn't want to go back to the team that cut me. I'd definitely keep 
my mind open and try to go to a team that's better than the Vikings. It was really hard deciding between number two and number one for this list. At number two though, I have the Green Bay Packers. No question here on how good of a team the Green Bay Packers are. They're a great team. They're going to make the playoffs. They have Adrian Peterson. Their two needs are defense. Of course, their defense was horrible, especially sometimes their defense was just atrocious. They need a defense and they need a running back. The only knock, the only reason I didn't put this at number one is that I do see with, with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers and a team that loves to throw the ball, I do see the Packers preferring to have a pass catching running back. It's an ongoing theme that you've heard in this video. Pass catching running backs are the new hype. The, the guys that just, the power backs that can't catch the ball, they're a little bit old school, a little bit outdated. Now look at David Johnson, Ty Montgomery on the Packers. Le'Veon Bell, I mean the list goes on and on. And the number one most likely team to get Adrian Peterson, the New York Giants. They have a great team, they have a great defense, they got Odell Beckham, another cold weather team. Adrian Peterson used to play in cold weather. This is the perfect fit for the Giants. It makes almost too much sense. They just cut Rashad Jennings they need a guy like Adrian Peterson. I just think he's gonna be a great fit for this team, the way they play, their mentality, how their offense is. I mean, you got Odell Beckham and you got Adrian Peterson. That's gonna be tough when you're, when you're facing them as a defense. Wow, Woo, I'm getting excited for fantasy and getting excited for the 2017 season. You can't come soon enough. And that's my top seven list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on notifications so you'll be notified of new videos we come out with. Also, make sure you like the video. Hey, leave a comment below. Let me know what team you think Adrian Peterson will go to. Let me know what ideas you have on the next video. I'm open to any topics to do with sports. And I'll see you guys on the next one.